Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas. I am so excited because this is my Happenichi and I am doing a three month flip through for you guys right here, right now on Crystal Clear Ideas. So if you want to see some of the monthly and weekly spreads that I was able to come up with in my Happenichi within those three months, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Crystal Clear Ideas. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. I have received quite a few of you guys and I am super excited and stoked that you guys have joined the Bling Squad. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for clicking on this video again. I really appreciate you and I cannot wait to dive right in. You guys, this is my Happenichi. If you have not gotten an opportunity to watch why I love my Happenichi, I will link that video in the flowers right here because I really am enjoying my Happenichi. I am loving it. And so today I'm going to be doing a flip through of some of my favorite spreads within the first three months of my Happenichi. I started it in March. No, I started it in May of this year. Excuse me. And I'm going to flip through some of my monthly and my weekly spreads. I am super excited about my Happenichi and I can't wait to dive into August. And so before I do that, I wanted to share a few of my favorite spreads with you guys and show you what I was able to create, especially if this is your first time watching my video and you're not familiar with Nietzsche Saturday. This is a collaboration flip through with Southern Tea Time. So make sure you head on over to her channel so that you can see her Happenichi and get an opportunity to see some of the spreads she was able to create within three months. We did start around the same exact time. So I am so Super, super excited to be able to do these flip through videos, collabs with her, and I am excited to share it with you guys. So let's dive right in. So if you did not get an opportunity to watch me set up my Happenichi, I do have a Happenichi setup video. I'm going to link it right here in the cards for you guys. So that's two videos already. I'm going to try to keep the links to a minimum, but I did want to go ahead and dive in. So I set up my Happenichi, and what I did was I got a chance to do my month at a glance. I didn't do my intro page. This is my intro page right here. I left it blank, but I am going to actually do this at the end of September. By the end of September, this will be done. I'm going to actually include it in a um, refresh, so stay tuned for that. I also did a month at a glance, which I'm also going to keep in my Happenichi. Um, I am going to purge some of the months just so that it won't be so, so chunky, but I haven't decided when I'm going to do that. Most likely it will be in my refresh a little bit later. So my month at a glance has July 2019 to June 2020, and I was able to go ahead and pick up these stickers. These are from the, um, Carpe Diem brand, and I was able to use these to kind of give me a month at a glance so that I would be able to write down some things that will be going on in the month to give me a quick look. This is my May monthly highlights and I really enjoyed it. I do have a video where I put that together as well as this monthly. Now I haven't been using my monthly spreads in the Happenichi as much as I'd like but I do use it for reference and so I do love that. Here is one of my spreads where I use the Simply Gilded. I actually use some of these things for grocery list, so I am loving that. I always have it with me, so I'm able to write down things. And usually the grocery list is very practical for me, so I like to have it right on hand. This was one of my first scene spreads that I did with my Happy Illustration sticker book. I love the balloons and the sun, the cities down here. I just thought it was super cute and super simple. And then I tried to do a snatch spread for Magical Plans, but I put my own spin on it where I actually did some shelves just like she did and used some of my stickers from my journaling sticker book. Nope, my journaling doodles sticker book. That's where these came from. And these came also from my um, Simply Lovely, I believe, sticker book or my farmhouse. I can't remember. But this was super cute. I love these rose gold stickers, you guys. It is so cute. And here I did for June, I did some squad goals. 
So I love that this sticker came from my shop, which is Lux Clever Crafts. It, I am a co-owner of the shop with my beautiful sister-in-law, Serena, who is Rena Rocks right here on YouTube. So go ahead and check her out. But I loved how I was able to cut up some of my colorful box of stickers just to make it work for me. And I just think it turned out super, super cute. Here was my monthly and I used some Agenda 52 girls and then also my Wrong Wrong girls. So I was super excited to be able to get all the girls in the mix squad, Agenda 52 and Wrong Wrong. This was my anniversary spread, my 12th anniversary. My husband and I have been married for 12 years on this week and I actually wrote a little note of how much I appreciate my husband and a little thing of things that I had to get taken care of that next week. I thought it was super, super cute. My husband's name is Chad, and it says, I love your smile and your laugh. It brings me joy. Sometimes I think of your giggle or smile. Thank you so much for being the best husband ever and for putting up with me, because <laughs> I'm a lot of work. Anyway, some of us may feel that way about ourselves, but I know it's true about me. I'm a lot of work. So this is one of my snatch spreads that I did, one of my favorite. I'm going to actually link that video in the flowers because this is one of my favorites. It's my, top and, my pop and tag spread. I actually did it along with my anniversary spread and um, I enjoyed it. I actually snatched this from Michelle by, um, and it's Vin Van Ailey by Michelle is her channel and she did a similar spread that was super super cute and when I saw her do these little tags I was like yes I have to do that she did it she did that y'all so I just did my own little spin on it and I just love it it is still to this date my favorite weekly spread then I also did this one, which I was able to put up a little creativity. I was very proud of myself. I drew out these little duffel bags. And this um, spread was super, super cute. I had so much fun putting this together. Also, I did a cleanup woman spread, which I like to call it. Because um, sometimes we just have that. We have days where we got to get down and dirty and we got to get things done. And so um, I love her shirt. I can't even because that's how I feel sometimes. But, you know, I get peace of mind when I clean. So I don't know if you guys like that as well. This is my summer wellness bucket list. And I'm still actually um, handling some of these things. I have accomplished a few. I've received a massage. I have um, had a girls night. I have had a cleaning day. I've gone shopping. Of course, my Manny Petty is always on um, on the agenda. And then I still haven't done my date night yet, and I still haven't done my workout. I need to get back in track on track. So hopefully August will um, allow me to do so. Of course, I've always been planning. And this is just like doing some makeup, some me time, maybe reading a book. And I need to do that, y'all. I have not been doing my reading as I should be. Of course, I've been doing my spiritual reading, like reading my Bible and doing my personal studies and things of that nature um, because I am a, st a student of the Bible. So I just, I do love doing that. But I also love to read for pleasure. So I do need to pick up something that I can read for pleasure and get into that. I actually did my Why I Love My Happy Nietzsche tag. So these are the questions there as well as the individuals that I actually tagged in that Happy Nietzsche tag video, so check them out, see if they actually got a chance to complete those. Super, super exciting. I know I saw Michelle's and I saw Southern Tea Times. I haven't checked to see if Jasmine and Miranda have done theirs, um, but if you guys see them or if you go to their videos, shout them out. Let them know, hey, I want to see why you love your Happy Nietzsche, because those are the Planet Nietzsche babes. For July, I did my monthly. I did kind of a travel theme because July is when I actually traveled to Brazil. I had a awesome time. You guys are going to get a chance to hear about it in a few extra uh, other videos. I'm not going to go into detail because I'm saving something special for that. But I had fun creating this. And I actually used some other stickers to create this as well. And I am loving it. So I didn't get an opportunity to fill this in. It is still July. It's the last day of July. So I am going to go back and put a few things here that I appreciated. Some snapshots, so to speak, of July that I enjoyed. Um, so states, So I'm going to actually put that in there. But this is what it's looking like right now. And then, of course, I did an office 
theme for my weekly first week in July. Super cute. I had so much fun making these donuts. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love desserts. I am a sweet fanatic and my mind goes to desserts before any other food. Even when we go to dinner, I'm looking at the dessert menu first. And my husband's always like, what are you going to eat though? What are you going to eat? So with that being the case, I you will notice that I love doing dessert spreads because it is something near and dear to my heart. I just love, I love sweets. I, I What can I say? I just love sweets. So this was something that I created and I loved it. And then I also did the lemon spread because I saw a lot of zesty spreads out there and I wanted to try my hand at it. So I was super impressed with myself because I did go ahead and freehand the lemon and then I cut it out and traced it. If you want to see that video, I'll link it in the cards. It is a recent video, but I had a blast doing it. And also my last spread for July was this camel spread, this desert theme, this cactus theme. So I enjoyed this as well. I used my Agenda 52 sticker book. Was it an Agenda 52? No, it was a Paper Studio. I used the Paper Studio sticker book and I really, really enjoyed it. I think the Paper Studio, let me find the book. Because I think... Yeah, it is Agenda 52. So this is the girls one and the one that I use for this spread. Okay, so it's Agenda 52 and Paper Studio. So I was correct. Is the Funky Trend. So this was the Funky Trend that I used for this spread. And then for my girls, um, I got all of those out of this sticker book. So I do have flip throughs on my channel of these two sticker books if you've never seen them before. They are super, super cute. They're $9.99 at the local Hobby Lobby, but Paper Studio actually has 50% off sales quite often. So you could get both of these for $10 um, together, $5 a piece whenever they have those sales. So look out for the sales because your girl loves a good deal, okay? And, oh, this is my August monthly that I just did. I can't believe I just ripped that off. But it'll be okay. It'll stick back. But I love this. This is just a sneak peek of what you are going to expect for the month of August and for the next three month um, wrap up. Because I just wanted to show you my last week in July. So you guys, I enjoy doing this flip through. I have been loving my Hapanichi. It has really brought out all of my creative juices and knacks. And I feel like I have the freeness to do a lot of things with it. You guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite layout that I demonstrated from May to July. Um, let me know what you enjoyed so that I can see what kind of things you like and to get some sneak peeks as to things that I can kind of come up with for the next three months. I really enjoyed flipping through my Habanichi with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your encouraging comments. You know, I am so in love with the Bling Squad. You know, you guys are so encouraging and positive. Um, you always um, make sure that I always feel like the tone of your comments, even if it is, um, you know, letting me know something is very, um, you know, positive and comes from a good place. And I really appreciate that about you guys. So thank you so, so much for um sharing your time with me in this video and I can't wait for Nietzsche Saturday which is going to be coming up really really soon you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys